Okay, um, hello everybody. Um, today I'd like to tell you a little bit about GUI 64, what has happened, what is new, uh, some updates. Okay, so let's start with uh, drive number eight here. Obviously this is a Geos disk. Um, and well, obviously the look has changed. Um, so the file extension is now here instead of somewhere there in the middle. Um, and it's indicated by just one letter or a symbol. So that symbol um, indicates that, uh, that it's a PRG file. This obviously is a folder symbol. And um, so all the other files like USR, uh, relative, sequential and so on. So they are all um, indicated by their first letter. So this, for example, is a USR file. Well, these are USR files. And these are PRG files. Um, and secondly, we don't see the size of the files. Um, so how can we make these visible? Well, you might, you might have um, seen this options menu here. So let's click that. Uh -huh. So at the very top, we see show sizes. So let's click on it, that expands the window and you see all the sizes of the files. And when you click on it again, um, the window will shrink again and the sizes will vanish. By the way, here we have the check mark, uh, which is also a new thing in GUI 64, that you can do that. Um, by the way, <coughs> those sort functions here, they have not been implemented yet. This is future work. Okay, what else is new? Um, we can go into the disk menu and the second menu entry is new. So we can change the device number. Before in uh, GUI 64 1.0, um, these drives or the devi um, device numbers of the drives were hard coded to eight and nine. Now you can change them and you have two options either you change them here in the disk menu when the window is already opened. Yeah. Now, by the way, I call them drive A and B. Yeah. Because they can change drive numbers. Another option is to uh, right click on, for example, drive eight. And there's then this, um, this dialogue where you can change the device number. Um, but okay, so here we have already opened the window. So let's um, do it here. So device number. Uh, and let's say uh, we, ch uh, we change to device number 10. And now we have not um, put any disk into uh, drive number 10 and um, it's virtual drive emulation. That means that VICE shows us the contents of a directory on the Mac. So here we are on a Mac. Um, so we are running Vice on a Mac. And um, this is actually the, um, the folder where all the files are in with that, with, with uh, which we can build our GUI 64 or with which GUI 64 is built. Um, so that's here. Um, the build d64 file um, and that contains one file a PRG file that we are actually running right now on this vice um, emulator <clears throat> okay so here we have all the files and we can browse through the uh, through the um, directory structure here um, so now we have uh, we are one two files um, two levels higher uh, so let's get back to uh, actually there was code here. Um, all right. Um, the bad thing here is on this emulator um, that we cannot enter into these D64 files on a SD to IEC device. Um, we can actually, yeah. So then we would double click on this GUI 64.d64 image and we would see then the contents of that image and for example, run files in there. 
that's not possible here in Vice, unfortunately. Um, so when I double click on here, uh, it just opens the directory again. Um, okay, and by the way, when I double click on, uh, so for example, an ASM file here, uh, it says the file type is not, is not supported because um, it wants to open this as a, as a disk image file. So then it checks, if, is it a D64, is it a D81, D71, or a DNP file? Well, it's not, so it says the type is not supported. Um, now I'd like to show you um, another new feature um, of GUI 64, which is this menu entry here, view. So we, we can view the file, so I click on it, and a window opens with the contents of that file. Um, so let me maximize this window. So you might wonder about these, uh, these question marks here. This is actually a matter of, I think it's a matter of Unicode and ASCII. So um, a carriage return in, 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 well, at least on a Mac, um, uh, is encoded in two bytes namely in a 13 and a 10. And with ASCII or Petsky, a carriage return is just a 13. Um, we will also see this in the, um, in the hex mode of this viewer. Um, where is it? There is it, for example. So D stands for 13 and A stands for 10. So that's this carriage return on a Mac. There's another one, DA. Uh, down there is another one, and well, they are all, of course, all over the place. Uh, actually, here we can scroll. Um, although, actually, as you can see, the uh, the scroll bar is not working properly. Um, yeah, so this is really work in progress. Here in this this text mode, we can actually not even scroll. Um, this is really work in progress. Um, Right, so um, let's go back to drive B. Um, yeah, let's go to drive disk info, for example. Here we have true drive emulation, so it can recognize uh, the drive as a 1541. We have 100 files, all the um, numbers here are accurate and um, correct. Okay. Now I change device number nine to from a 1541 disk drive to a 1581 disk drive. Let me do this. Uh, drive number nine, 1581, but also true drive emulation. And now I have to put in uh, a disk. I put in this disk here and we refresh the window. Okay, so that shows us again this motion Let's warp. Yeah. Oh, GUI 64 gives us an info window which says, note, GUI 64 only shows 204 of the 296 files. So that tells us that there are 296 files on the disk. Um, but GUI 64 only shows us 204 of them. It can handle only 204 files. Uh, the reason for this is that there is a certain amount of memory, well actually it's 4 kilobytes, or but that means 4096 bytes that are allocated for, for a directory, either of uh, A or B. So in total it's, it's actually 8 kilobytes. But okay, let's stick to this 4, uh, four kilobytes for drive B. And um, well, a file record is encoded in 20 bytes now in that in that area of memory so if you multiply 20 bytes by 204 the result is 4080 bytes which is close to 4096 bytes yeah um, so 204 is the maximum number of files file records that can um, be fit into these four kilobytes. So therefore, that's the reason for the 204. Um, <clears throat> so 
You might think this is a flaw of GUI 64 that it cannot uh, display all the almost 300 files here. But on the other hand, I mean, how many disks with more than 204 files are out there? Um, or disk images, I'd say very few, maybe even um, uh, fewer than 1%. Yeah, so I don't consider this much, much of a problem. Uh, you might think differently. Okay, so and if we now click on disk info, uh, we see that everything is um, displayed correctly. 296 files, it's a 1581 disk drive. Write protection is not available. It's only available for 1541 disk drives. And all these numbers are also correct. Okay, now I'm almost done with this um, uh, with this demo. So um, there are two things left. So one one is here. So that's also new an info box that tells us. Okay, so this is version one point seven of GUI sixty four, um, and um, the this is my company which doesn't exist and. Uh, the year is 2025 okay um all right i think that's really it and uh yeah so let, let us just uh run this file godot uh which is actually an advanced image processing tool for the commodore 64. <coughs> uh you you can download it uh i i guess and uh, and check it out um, I will just run it here. Um, so let's do this with a double click. Yeah, and this is also a new thing that when you load a program, then you see this progress bar, which is also a nice thing to have. Okay, so now it has run Godot, and Godot is um, yeah loading in a lot of stuff from the disk. So let's warp this again. Uh -huh, the welcome picture and um, that's it so there's a preview uh, area here okay so this subject is not Godot it's GUI 64 so let's exit um, put in GUI 64 into a uh, drive number 8 there you go let's load it up uh, so, so. One and um, yeah, there we are back in GUI 64. Okay, so I think that was all I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, see you next time around. Goodbye.